Good morning and welcome to the salt marsh of the Doyard Estuary. This is one of the three largest estuaries of Cardigan Bay. Behind me you can see Pomerion um, and up there you can see Snowdon hidden in the clouds. The estuary ecosystem is a very dynamic place that can change with every tide. The estuary is where the salt water meets the fresh water in the area known as the salt marsh. This area can be a very harsh place for the plants and animals that live here. Salt marsh forms when sediment is brought in on each tide and settles on the bare mud and sand flats of the estuary. Over time, these areas will be colonised by plants and animals specially adapted to the dynamic and salty conditions. Eventually, salt marsh will develop like the ones you can see in front of us here. You'll be able to see different communities of plants on the lower and higher shore. A healthy estuary ecosystem will have sand and mud flats, salt marsh and transitions to woodland and grassland. The management of the estuary is also very important to the services that the ecosystem can give us. One of the great things it can give us is salt marsh lamb, where the sheep feed on the special grasses only found here. Another great thing is that the salt marsh locks away huge amounts of carbon. The salt marsh also acts as a natural coastal defence, protecting us from storms and erosion. The salt marsh is a wonderful natural filter, purifying our water. And another thing, the salt marsh is a wonderful place to come and experience nature and wildlife for yourself. You might be able to find otter tracks in the mud and see birds feeding in the sands. And at certain times of year, the marsh will turn pink with the colour of thrift. And finally, this is a fantastically beautiful landscape to come and enjoy yourself with a short walk or maybe even a long walk, somewhere to unwind and relax. Salt Marsh Lamb is from the local estuaries here and this is an example but um, this is the mountain lamb. Uh, the Salt Marsh Lamb are leaner and um, it tastes wonderful but the only shame is that it's exported a lot to France and why can't we keep it here in Wales for ourselves? The only problem the farmers have to worry about is when the waters come up, they have to make sure that the lambs are moved up to higher ground. The only thing is, it does cost slightly more, but for the taste, it's worthwhile buying.